Samatha Pali or Samatha Sanskrit Samatha Chinese GG is a quality of mind which is developed bhavana bhavana in tandem with vipassana insight by calming the mind sata sata and its formations sankara sanskara This is done by practicing single pointed meditation most commonly through mindfulness of breathing Samatha is common to many Buddhist traditions Topic <inaudible> etymology <inaudible> The semantic field of Tibetan Shi and Sanskrit Shama is pacification, the slowing or cooling down, rest. The semantic field of Tibetan Ne is to abide or remain, and this is cognate or equivalent with the final syllable of the Sanskrit de. The Tibetan term for samatha is shyane, wily, ggnas. According to Jamgon Kongtrul, the terms refer to peace and pacification of the mind and the thoughts. Samatha and Vipassana The Buddha is said to have identified two paramount mental qualities that arise from wholesome meditative practice Samatha, calm abiding, which steadies, composes, unifies and concentrates the mind Vipassana, insight, which enables one to see, explore and discern formations. Conditioned phenomena based on the five aggregates, the Buddha is said to have extolled serenity and insight as conduits for attaining the unconditioned state of nibbana (Pali: skt, nirvana). For example, in the Kimsuka Tree Sutta (SN 35.245), the Buddha provides an elaborate metaphor in which serenity and insight are the swift pair of messengers who deliver the message of nibbana via the noble eightfold path in the four ways to arahantship sutta and 4.170 ven ananda reports that people attain arahantship using calm abiding and insight in one of three ways they develop calm abiding and then insight pali samatha pubangamam vipassanam they develop insight and then calm abiding pali vipassana pubangamam samatham they develop calm abiding and insight in tandem Pali, samatha vipassanam yuganadam, for instance, obtaining the first jhana and then seeing in the associated aggregates the three marks of existence before proceeding to the second jhana. In the Pali canon, the Buddha never mentions independent samatha and vipassana meditation practices, instead, samatha and vipassana are two qualities of mind to be developed through meditation. As Thanissaro Bhikkhu writes, when the Pali Suttas depict the Buddha telling his disciples to go meditate, they never quote him as saying go do vipassana, but always go do jhana, and they never equate the word vipassana with any mindfulness techniques. In the few instances where they do mention vipassana, they almost always pair it with samatha, not as two alternative methods, but as two qualities of mind that a person may gain or be endowed with, and that should be developed together. Similarly, referencing MN 151, VV. 13 to 19, and an IV 125 to 27, a John Brahm, who like Bhikkhu Thanissaro, is of the Thai forest tradition, writes that some traditions speak of two types of meditation: insight meditation, vipassana, and calm meditation, samatha. In fact, the two are indivisible facets of the same process. Calm is the peaceful happiness born of meditation, insight is the clear understanding born of the same meditation. Calm leads to insight and insight leads to calm. <laughs> Theravada and the Vipassana movement <laughs> Function In modern Theravada, liberation is thought to be attained by insight into the transitory nature of phenomena. This is accomplished by establishing sati mindfulness and samatha through the practice of anapanasati mindfulness of breathing, using mindfulness for observing the impermanence in the bodily and mental changes, to gain insight vipassana p, vipassana, s, vipassana, sampajanya c, q, wisdom p, panya, s, prajna into the true nature of phenomena. According to the Theravada tradition, samatha refers to techniques that assist in calming the mind. Samatha is thought to be developed by samadhi concentration", which is thought to be the ability to rest the attention on a single object of perception. One of the principal techniques for this purpose is mindfulness of breathing Pali, 
Samatha is commonly practiced as a prelude to and in conjunction with wisdom practices. According to modern Theravada, mindfulness of breathing leads the practitioner into concentration, dhyana, the domain of experience wherein the senses are subdued and the mind abides in uninterrupted concentration upon the object, i.e., the breath, if not in meditative absorption. Samadhi. According to modern Theravada, it is the condition for insight vipassana and subsequently the development of liberating wisdom. Panya. In Theravada Buddhism morality is understood to be a stable foundation upon which to attain samatha. According to the Theravada tradition, samatha and vipassana form an integral part of the Noble Eightfold Path as described by the Buddha in his core teaching, the Four Noble Truths. Samatha meditation and jhana are often considered synonymous by modern Theravada, but the four jhanas involve a heightened awareness, instead of a narrowing of the mind. Vedder notes that samadhi may refer to the four stages of dhyana meditation, but that only the first stage refers to strong concentration, from which arise the other stages, which include mindfulness. According to Richard Gombrich, the sequence of the four rupa jhanas describes two different cognitive states. Gombrich and Wynne note that, while the second jhana denotes a state of absorption, in the third and fourth jhana one comes out of this absorption, being mindfully awareness of objects while being indifferent to it. According to Gombrich, the later tradition has falsified the jhana by classifying them as the quintessence of the concentrated, calming kind of meditation, ignoring the other, and indeed higher, element. Alexander Wynne further explains that the dhyana scheme is poorly understood. According to Wynne, words expressing the inculcation of awareness, such as sati, sampahano, and upekka, are mistranslated or understood as particular factors of meditative states, whereas they refer to a particular way of perceiving the sense objects. Through the meditative development of calm abiding, one is able to suppress the obscuring five hindrances sensual desire, ill will, tiredness and sleepiness, excitement and depression, and doubt. With the suppression of these hindrances, the meditative development of insight yields liberating wisdom. Objects of meditation Some meditation practices such as contemplation of a kasina object favor the development of samatha, others such as contemplation of the aggregates are conducive to the development of vipassana, while others such as mindfulness of breathing are classically used for developing both mental qualities. The Visuddhimagga 5th century CE mentions 40 objects of meditation. Mindfulness sati of breathing anapana, anapana sati, s anapana smirti is the most common samatha practice. Samatha can include other samadhi practices as well. Topic: <inaudible> Signs and stages of joy. Theravada Buddhism describes the development of samatha in terms of three successive mental images or signs, nimitta, and five stages of joy, piti. Piti is a feeling of joy, gladness, or rapture arising from the abandonment of the five hindrances in favor of concentration on a single object. These stages are outlined by the Theravada exegete Buddhaghosa in his Visuddhimagga also in Athasalini and the earlier Upadisa author of the Vimittimagga. Five stages of joy Slight joy raises the hairs of the body Momentary joy arises momentarily like repeated flashes of lightning Showering joy washes over the body, like waves, again and again and then subsides Uplifting joy sensations of lifting of the body into the air Suffusing joy pervades the whole body touching every part, signals access concentration. .The three nimittas are the preparatory sign, the acquired sign and the counterpart sign. These are certain mental images, perceptions or sensations which indicate a further refinement of the state of meditative awareness. Following the establishment of access concentration one can enter the four jhanas, powerful states of joyful absorption in which the entire body is pervaded with pity. Variations <inaudible> 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 In the Theravada tradition various understandings of samatha exist, in Sri Lanka samatha includes all the meditations directed at static objects, in Burma, samatha comprises all concentration practices, aimed at calming the mind. In the last decade samatha in the Burmese tradition has been popularized in the West by Pa Ak Sayada. This tradition upholds the emphasis on samatha explicit in the commentarial tradition of the Visuddhimagga. Pa Ak Sayada presented this tradition through extensive retreats around the world until his retirement in 2012. 
The Thai forest tradition deriving from a John Moon and popularized by a John Cha stresses the inseparability of Samatha and Vipassana, and the essential necessity of both practices. <laughs> Indo-Tibetan tradition Tibetan writers usually define samatha practice as when one's mind remains fixed on a single object without moving. Dakpo Tashi Namgyal for example, defines samatha as by fixing the mind upon any object so as to maintain it without distraction, by focusing the mind on an object and maintaining it in that state until finally it is channeled into one stream of attention and evenness. According to Geshe Lundup Sopa, samatha is just a one-pointedness of mind on a meditative object Whatever the object may be, if the mind can remain upon its object one-pointedly, spontaneously and without effort and for as long a period of time as the meditator likes, it is approaching the attainment of meditative stabilization <laughs> Mahayana Sutras A number of Mahayana sutras address samatha, usually in conjunction with vipassana. One of the most prominent, the Cloud of Jewels Sutra, Arya Ratnamega Sutra, Tib. Phags Pa Dkon Mikhog Sprin Gi Mdo, divides all forms of meditation into either samatha or vipassana, defining samatha as single-pointed consciousness and vipassana as seeing into the nature of things. The Sutra Unlocking the Mysteries Samdhanirmokana Sutra, a Yogacara Sutra, is also often used as a source for teachings on Samatha. The Samadhiraja Sutra is often cited as an important source for Samatha instructions by the Kagyu tradition, particularly via commentary by Gampopa, although scholar Andrew Skilton, who has studied the Samadhiraja Sutra extensively, reports that the Sutra itself, "...contains no significant exposition of either meditational practices or states of mind." Dhyana Samatha furthers the right concentration aspect of the Noble Eightfold Path. The successful result of Samatha is also sometimes characterized as meditative absorption and meditative equipoise and freedom from the five obstructions it may also result in the siddhas of clairvoyance and magical emanation <laughs> Factors in Samatha According to Kuladasa Samatha has five characteristics, effortlessly stable attention samadhi, powerful mindfulness sati, joy pity, tranquility pasity, and equanimity the complete state of samatha results from working with stable attention samadhi and mindfulness sati until joy emerges. Joy then gradually matures into tranquility, and equanimity arises out of that tranquility. A mind in samatha is the ideal instrument for achieving insight and awakening. Nine mental abidings In a formulation originating in the Sravakapum section of the Yogacarapum Sastra Samatha practice is said to progress through nine mental abidings, or nine stages of training the mind s. Tib. Sems Gnasdgu, leading to samatha proper the equivalent of access concentration in the Theravada system, and from there to a state of meditative concentration called the first dhyana Pali, jhana, tib, bsam gtan, which is often said to be a state of tranquility or bliss. An equivalent succession of stages is described in the ten oxerting pictures of Zen. The nine mental abidings as described by Kamalasila are Placement of the mind s. Chitasthapana, tib. Sems jog pa occurs when the practitioner is able to place their attention on the object of meditation, but is unable to maintain that attention for very long. Distractions, dullness of mind and other hindrances are common. Continuous attention s. Samsthapana, tib. Uryun du jog pa occurs when the practitioner experiences moments of continuous attention on the object before becoming distracted. According to B. Allen Wallace, this is when you can maintain your attention on the meditation object for about a minute. Repeated attention s. Avisthapana, tib. 
Slante is when the practitioner's attention is fixed on the object for most of the practice session and she or he is able to immediately realize when she or he has lost their mental hold on the object and is able to restore that attention quickly. Sakyong Mipham Rinpoche suggests that being able to maintain attention for 108 breaths is a good benchmark for when we have reached this stage. Close attention s. Upasthapana, tib. Nai bar occurs when the practitioner is able to maintain attention throughout the entire meditation session an hour or more without losing their mental hold on the meditation object at all. In this stage the practitioner achieves the power of mindfulness. Nevertheless, this stage still contains subtle forms of excitation and dullness or laxity. Tamed attention s. Damana, tib. Dull bar bide pa. By this stage, the practitioner achieves deep tranquility of mind, but must be watchful for subtle forms of laxity or dullness, peaceful states of mind which can be confused for calm abiding. By focusing on the future benefits of gaining shamatha, the practitioner can uplift their mind and become more focused and clear. Pacified attention s. Samana, tib. G bar bide pa is the stage during which subtle mental dullness or laxity is no longer a great difficulty, but now the practitioner is prone to subtle excitements which arise at the periphery of meditative attention. According to B. Allen Wallace this stage is achieved only after thousands of hours of rigorous training. Fully pacified attention s. Vyapasamana, tib. Nai bar g bar bide pa, although the practitioner may still experience of subtle excitement or dullness, they are rare and the practitioner can easily recognize and pacify them. Single pointed attention s. Ekotakarana, tib. Rtsegcig 2 bide pa in this stage the practitioner can reach high levels of concentration with only a slight effort and without being interrupted even by subtle laxity or excitement during the entire meditation session. Attentional balance s. Samadana, tib. Manyam par jog pa the meditator now effortlessly reaches absorbed concentration ting nge d zin, s samadhi, and can maintain it for about four hours without any single interruption. Samatha, tib. Shayane the culmination, is sometimes listed as a tenth stage. <laughs> Five faults and eight antidotes The textual tradition of Tibetan Buddhism identifies five faults and eight antidotes within the practice of samatha meditation. The five faults identify obstacles to meditation practice, and the eight antidotes are applied to overcome the five faults. This formulation originates with Maitrianatha's Madhyanta Vibhaga and is elaborated upon in further texts, such as the stages of meditation by Kamala Silla. To practice samatha, one must select an object of observation alambana, d migs pa. Then one must overcome the five faults 1. Laziness 2. Forgetting the instruction avavadasamosa, g dams ngag burjid pa. 3. Laxity and excitement adatya, rgod pa. Laxity may be coarse adarika, rags pa, or subtle suksma, phra mo. Lethargy styana, ar mugs pa, is often also present, but is said to be less common. 4. Non-application anabhisamskara, do me bide pa. 5. Over-application abhisamskara, do bide pa. <laughs> Eight antidotes the following eight antidotes pratipaksa, nyan po, or applications abhisamskara, do bide pa, can be applied to overcome the five faults. For laziness, one faith sraddha, dad pa, two aspiration chanda, dun pa, three exertion vyayama, rtsol ba, four pliancy prasrabdi, shin sabyangs. For forgetting the instruction. 5. Mindfulness smirti, dran pa. For laxity and excitement 6. Awareness samprajanya, she's bz hin. For non-application 7. Application abhisamskara, do bide pa. For over-application 8. Non-application anabhisamskara, do me bide pa. Topic. Six powers Six powers are also needed for samatha. 1. 
Hearing Sruta, THOS pa. 2. Thinking Sinta, BSAM pa. 3. Mindfulness Smirti, Dran pa. 4. Awareness Samprajanya, she's BZ hin. 5. Effort Virya, Bertson, Grus. 6. Familiarity Parakaya, Yang Su, DRIS pa. Topic. Four modes of mental engagement Four modes of mental engagement are said to be possible 1. Forcible engagement 2. Interrupted engagement 3. Uninterrupted engagement 4. Spontaneous engagement Anabogavahana, LHUN Grub 2 Jug Pa Topic Mahamudra and Zogchen Samatha is approached somewhat differently in the Mahamudra tradition as practiced in the Kagyu lineage. As Traleg Kayabgan Rinpoche explains, In the practice of Mahamudra tranquility meditation, we treat all thoughts as the same in order to gain sufficient distance and detachment from our current mental state, which will allow us to ease naturally into a state of tranquility without effort or contrivance. In order for the mind to settle, we need to suspend the value judgments that we impose on our mental activities. It is essential that we not try to create a state of tranquility but allow the mind to enter into tranquility naturally. This is an important notion in the Mahamudra tradition, that of non-doing. We do not do tranquility meditation, we allow tranquility to arise of its own accord, and it will do so only if we stop thinking of the meditative state as a thing that we need to do actively. In a manner of speaking, catching yourself in the act of distraction is the true test of tranquility meditation, for what counts is not the ability to prevent thoughts or emotions from arising but the ability to catch ourselves in a particular mental or emotional state. This is the very essence of tranquility meditation in the context of Mahamudra. The Mahamudra style of meditation does not encourage us toward the different levels of meditative concentration traditionally described in the exoteric meditation manuals. From the Mahamudra point of view, we should not desire meditative equipoise nor have an aversion to discursive thoughts and conflicting emotions but view both of these states with equanimity. Again, the significant point is not whether meditative equipoise is present but whether we are able to maintain awareness of our mental states. If disturbing thoughts do arise, as they certainly will, we should simply recognize these thoughts and emotions as transient phenomena. For the Kagyupa, in the context of Mahamudra, samatha by means of mindfulness of breathing is thought to be the ideal way for the meditator to transition into taking the mind itself as the object of meditation and generating vipassana on that basis, quite similar as the approach to samatha found in Dzogchen Sem Sanskrit, Mahasandhi Chittavarga. In the SEM system, Samatha is the first of the four yogas Tib, Naljor, Wiley, Rnal, Byor, the others being Vipassana, Wiley, Lhagm Thong, Nonduality, Advaya, Tib, Naim, Wiley, Gnyis Med, and Spontaneous Presence, Anabhagha or Naraboa, Tib, Lindrub, Wiley, Lhun Grub. These parallel the four yogas of Mahamudra. In June 1996 Ajahn Amaro established Abhyagiri Monastery in Redwood Valley, California, where he was co-abbot with Ajahn Pisano until July, 2010 Ajahn Amaro returned to Amaravati in July, 2010 and as a long-time student in the Thai forest Theravadan tradition of Ajahn Cha, has also trained in the Dzogchen Sem Samatha approach under Sokni Rinpoche. He found similarities in the approaches of the two traditions to Samatha. Topic. Relationship with Vipassana Dzogchen Panlop Rinpoche clearly charts the developmental relationship of the practices of Samatha and Vipassana. The ways these two aspects of meditation are practiced is that one begins with the practice of Shamatha, on the basis of that, it becomes possible to practice Vipayana or Lothong. Through one's practice of vipayana being based on and carried on in the midst of shamatha, one eventually ends up practicing a unification of shamatha and vipayana. The unification leads to a very clear and direct experience of the nature of all things. This brings one very close to what is called the absolute truth. 
Similar practices in other religions Meditations from other religious traditions may also be recognized as samatha meditation, that differ in the focus of concentration. In this sense, samatha is not a strictly Buddhist meditation. Samatha in its single-pointed focus and concentration of mind is cognate with the sixth limb of Astanga Yoga, Raja Yoga which is concentration dharana. For further discussion, see the Yoga Sutras of Patanali. See also Kamathana Samadhi Vipassana Dhyana in Buddhism Jhana, Christianity Christian contemplation Hesychasmislamorakaba Notes References Sources External links How Meditation Works Buddhist Meditation at Curlie Samatha Meditation by Tina Rasmussen and Stephen Snyder The Nine Mental Abidings C. Q. Stages of Tranquility Dharma Fellowship, Deepening Calm Abiding, The Nine Stages of Abiding Skyflower Dharma Center, Mahamudra Tranquility and Insight The Samatha Association <laughs>